Hey guys, how's it going? Aaron here with Double A Shaves, and I am back again for another video. Uh, a little late to the party on this one, but I thought I would do my death row shave tag video, which I believe was started by Ben from the Soap Thing. Um, uh, really cool idea, Ben, so thank you for uh, getting this started up. Uh, basically, it's like the last soap and uh, gear that you would use when you're in prison, when you're on death row, before you would go to the electric chair. Uh, I just thought it seemed like a really cool idea, so I really wanted to uh, participate in that. Yeah, so thanks again, buddy, for uh, getting this video series started up. I think I was tagged by a few people, um, and I apologize if I miss anyone. I know I was tagged by Jimco Shaved In and uh, Josh from Jet Behind a Scent. Um, so thank you guys for the tag. I really appreciate it. Um, and since I think of most people... I'm probably one of the last ones to do my death row shave, so I think since most people already did it, I'm going to be tagging Robert from Double Edge Express. Um, if you guys haven't checked out Robert's videos, he uploads a lot. Um, he, he keeps me really entertained, so uh, he works hard. So yeah, shout out to Robert from Double Edge Express. I'll link to his channel down in my description so you guys can go check him out. Um, all right, so kind of had to think a little bit for... The gear and soap I was going to use for this death row shave here but finally got it picked out this is one of my absolute favorites and I could it's already smelling out my kitchen and I just love love am in love with this soap and scent it is so phenomenal so that is the beach from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements and it's kind of funny like this is one where I I just never really understood the cover you got the dinosaur the the seagulls up here you got this guy and then this dude i guess is laying on a beach oh you know what i just noticed that that's a wave back there wow it's it's a really cool cover i just uh i don't know maybe one of these days i'll reach out to doug and kind of ask him what's going on in here so so this is a soap i've had i i don't even know how long i've had this probably i probably got the beach like two years ago maybe but it's gotten a lot of use here. This is the CK1 formula. So yeah, we just got the normal uh, coke and butter formula here. So uh, you could kind of see where I scooped around, you know, because I bowl lather. So I'll scoop out the soap and I'll lather it in the bowl. And then you can still see a little bit of the fresh pour up here. Um, but yeah, it's gotten some pretty good use. And uh, CK1 is a really good formula. I also have a lot of CK6 which is his premium formula, but CK1 is really good stuff. I really, really like it a lot. Um, so that's the beach soap here. And of course, I'm gonna be backing it up with the aftershave. And I always say this about PA aftershaves, but I feel like I've used this a lot. And man, look, it's barely gone down. Like, <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, it's, it's definitely worth the price in my opinion. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to that this is going to last me a while. All right, and for the razor, I figured, let me take a sip of water here. So I figured, um, you know, since this is a death row shave and you're in prison, uh, I actually have this plastic razor here. So this is the Phantom Blue uh, Double Slant from PAA. Um, you know, and I know I'm using a razor blade, but it's kind of the closest thing I had to like a prison friendly razor i don't know i don't know anything about prison sorry guys um and i hope i never figure out more so um but uh yeah so yeah plastic pa phantom blue this was i recently uh bought this off uh, my buddy josh from jet behind a scent um because i really wanted to try it i've never used a slant razor before i did one shave with it off camera and it went pretty good so um, I think it's going to go pretty good this time. And man, it's so light. It's like a toy, but I just really wanted it. It's like nice and light. Uh, it just looks cool. And it's my first slant. So really happy to be using that today. I got it loaded up with a Gillette Nasset. These are really, really good blades made in Russia. Um, yeah, I got, I got a lot of blades to get through, but I really, really like these Nassets, and I know a lot of people in the community also use these a lot. So yeah, the Nassets are just really, really good. Oh, I almost forgot to show you the brush and the lather. So a little lather shot here in my Pereira shave bowl. Yeah, really, really nice lather here with the CK1. 
and got it whipped up with the Sterling 24 millimeter Finest Badger. Um, it's still my only Badger brush. I got to get around to getting more, but it's finally at the point where it's not losing any more bristles uh, in the bowl. So that's a really good sign. I know it takes a while to break down a Badger brush. Um, so I'm really, really happy about that. All right, let's go ahead and get the face wet. And I hope everyone is doing well out there. Uh, thank you to all my new subscribers and all the support lately on my videos. And for taking time out of your day to come check me out. It really means a lot, guys, so thank you. I cannot wait to shave with the beach today, man. I love this so much. All right, one more lather shot there. Look at that little, uh, little ice cream peak there. Nice and, uh, I kind of like when it does that. It's usually a good sign for me when I lather it good. It's kind of when it wiggles at the top like that. So, and since I, I have a couple days growth, so whenever that's the case, I will do a little bit of scrubbing action to get the soap underneath the, the whiskers here to kind of get really get it in there. And I got some pretty good hydration in the lather today. Just the perfect amount of water, it seems. And this is a really, man, this scent is a really, really great way to get the day started. And it's kind of fitting right now because here in Pennsylvania, it's still pretty warm, even though it's kind of late in the fall. So um, I like the scent enough where I just use it all year round. I don't even care. Like I'm one of those guys. I just use them. If I like a scent, I'll use it all year. Man, so I'm a sucker for beach scents. You know, for some of you... For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm I'm a sucker for uh, definitely a sucker for fall scents. But another category is uh, beach scents. I love beach scents. They just remind me of they just make me happy. Remind me of my childhood. You know, um, going on vacation with the family and everything. And man, a lot of these artisans they just make really really good soap scents. Um, but Man, the beach from PAA, for me, just nothing tops it. It is such a phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal scent. Um, and if I was on death row, about to go to the chair, this is just really something I would want to smell. Um, you know, if it was my last day on earth, I would just really want to smell the beach, man. It just makes me so happy. Um, such a... Great, great scent. I'm probably going to be saying this a lot in my shave because I really love it that much. Um, I think that's a good lather. We'll go with that. So I kind of noticed there's um, there's a little bit of a pattern when it comes to beach scents from, you know, all the different artisans. They don't like to list scent notes. I know Declaration Grooming also does that for his shore scent. Um, and I actually like that. I think it kind of, I think they want to kind of leave it up to the the shaver to interpret what's going on in the scent. Um, yeah, really, really up my alley. All right, let's see. Second use with the PAA Phantom Blue Slant. Let's see how this goes. Um, yeah, this is like a mid, mid aggressive razor, in my opinion. It's not too bad. Um, Nice so far. Yeah, it's, it's like a cheap, it's like a really cheap razor. It's plastic, but it's a good shaver. It's kind of cool. Um, all right, so, sorry, where was I about the scent? Um, look at that, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. A lot of the ladder gets kind of built up there and then. Yeah, lather builds up quick on this razor. Um, so sorry, going back to the scent of the beach. Um, yeah, so Doug, he doesn't list any scent notes on the... Uh, on the website for this, but rather he says it's like a mixture of the ozone at the beach, um,
you know, a cocktail, Bo Derek, uh, an ice cream truck. A really, really funny description on this. Uh, I'll be sure to link to it if you want to go check it out. Uh, man, but in my opinion, it's just, it's such a great, great beef scent. Um, So to my nose, I kind of like, I kind of get that old school uh, suntan lotion type scent, kind of like 70s copper tone type of thing. Yeah, I remember getting uh, an aftershave sample of this back in the day and I just had to pick it up right away. It's so, so good. So to my nose, it's like a mixture of that old school suntan lotion scent and it's got like some sweetness in there. It's not really fruity. It's just, it's just like a really nice, it's like a, like a rich and sweet, like suntan lotion scent, you know, and you get some of the beach ozone in the background. Like it literally smells as if like you're just, you're walking on a boardwalk and the scent of the, the suntan lotion mixed in with like all the sweet stuff on the boardwalk and the food, like Man, I, it is, it smells exactly like the beach. Like I've smelled a lot of beach scents and nothing is as close as this one. It is just so, so good. Uh, yeah, Doug did such a good job in the beach. Um, and I think this one has also been around for a while. And so far this, uh, this phantom blue double slant razor is doing really, really good. Yeah, it's my only slant razor, and um, I wouldn't mind getting more. It's kind of uh, it's kind of interesting. Like instead of just going, you know, with the straight across design, this one is kind of more like a scythe, kind of like a snowplow type thing. But it's it's pretty efficient. It cuts good. And a great residual uh, slickness on. So this is CK one. And, you know, I got plenty of soaps in the CK6 too. This premium base, but man, CK1 is just, it just, it really, really works for me. Um, if he, honestly, if he has CK1 available, I usually go for that because in my opinion, it, like it's just as good and you also save a couple bucks, so. You got one more ounce of soap with CK6, but even four ounces, the tubs are so big, it doesn't even matter to me, so. All right, it looks like I missed a little bit. I'll, I'll get that on the against the grain pass here. I'm gonna skip the across the grain, so. All right, <laughs> look at that, that brush is cake. So yeah, if any, if you guys are, anyone out there into beach scents, if you haven't smelled the beach from PAA, I urge you to to pick it up. It is a classic from Phoenix. It smells so, so, so good. Um, yeah, and everyone I've sent a sample of this to, they just really, 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 really love it. Oh, it's just such a great, great, great scent. And it's just something I would want to smell before I go in the chair, man. It just makes me really happy. It, it, it's so well blended. Like, I would love to know the scent notes in here. Uh, maybe I'll ask Doug sometime, but yeah, again, it's just like, I'm probably not doing a great job of describing it, <laughs> but uh, yeah, you just get that old school suntan lotion scent with like some sweetness in the background and like a little bit of the beach ozone and man, it's just phenomenal. Like this, this scent to me is the beach. Like I've smelled a lot of other beach type scents from other artisans, but this scent is the beach and I like how it's not like really fruity. I think a lot of beach scents, they try to add in a lot of fruit, you know, and I like the fruit. It's okay, but I just really prefer this one where it's just like more suntan. It's more focused on like the, the beach plants and like the kind of suntan lotion thing. Like I'm all about that. So yeah, this one's really, really good. Yeah, Shore from Declaration Grooming is another one that's like, it's not really fruit focused, but it's just more like everything else kind of at the beach. Kind of that type of scent. All right, let's go against the grain here. Man, this uh, this handsome blue for a for a twenty six dollar razor, man. I tell you, like 
the slant design, it's really working for me. It's cutting through the hair real good. Yeah, five days of growth, just getting the mode down. Yeah, there are a lot of good beach scents out there, but Nothing quite does it for me like the beach. And this Gillette Nasset is doing a pretty good job too. I know everyone has their own blade, kind of blade preference, but uh, yeah, these ones were good for me. I think uh, I was talking with someone in the comments I think it might have been in my last video. Um, he was kind of talking about how, like, you know, just every blade is good. There's not, like, a bad blade. Um, I kind of agree with that. Like, I got a lot of different blades, and... I never really used one where I was like, oh my god, this is a terrible blade. Um... I think I did use a shark blade once where I was like really unimpressed with it, but other than that, they're all pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, the blade thing is kind of interesting. Good audio feedback here for this razor too. I really like this razor. Um, yeah, it's funny because I'm I'm a pretty I'm like a cheap razor kind of guy, and I guess that's partly kind of why I wanted this one. And also, I never used a slant, so that's another reason why I wanted to get it. But man, I tell you, it's doing a really good job. Like PAA just makes a lot of crazy stuff. Yeah, and you could really hear the, um, there's some decent blade exposure on here. I would still say it's like a mid-level aggression razor, but you could still really hear, hear it cutting down and working a lot. I had like five days growth and it's taken it down like no problem. And it is an open comb too. I'm not really too used to open combs. So, oh, hey, <laughs> my fiance just walked in. So yeah, I'm not really too used to open combs. So uh, I guess it's leaving a lot of residual, you know, soap on the face where the comb's not getting all of it. So Not a huge deal, but yeah, we got a really, really good shave, so I'm just going to go ahead and rinse off real quick. She likes the scent too, so <laughs> she's going to be ha really happy I just shaved with this. Man, amazing residual slickness, like my face is super smooth. Um, wow, man, the Phantom Blue, like really, it's cheap, man, but it really gave me a great shave today. Nice and nick free. I really, really, this is a really great way to get the day started. Awesome stuff. All right, very pleased with that. All right, thanks again, Josh, for sending the Phantom Blue Razor my way. Um, yeah, if anyone else has any thoughts on like slant razors or any recommendations, please let me know. Please, please let me know. All right, got the beach aftershave. Let me go ahead and crack this real quick. Oh, man, such a great scent. Uh, I have 
seen some people not like this scent. I guess they don't like the suntan thing. So I guess it's a little bit polarizing, but I would say like the majority of people would really like this scent. Oh man, this smells so good. Yeah, I know Chris from uh, IMCDB. This was, this is his favorite scent from PAA. So Chris, if you ever watch this, I really, I got to agree with you, man. Like, it's not my number one from PAA, but it's definitely my number one beach scent out there. Um, and this really is just something I would want to smell before I, before I go to the chair. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. Phenomenal shave today. Phenomenal shave. Well, for anyone still watching, um, I just really want to appreciate you guys again for tuning in um, and just for all the support. I know we're all busy, but thank you for just taking time out of your day um, to stop by. So I uh, hope everyone's doing well and hope everyone has a good couple days until my next video. So take care. Thank you.